professional athletes confront fear every day, some more than others. I've built my career around fighting fear, and believe me, it's a love-hate relationship. I want to get into the minds of those who tackle fear and understand how each individual does it. Do they trick their mind, or do they embrace their scariest moments? What happens to their bodies in these scary moments? These are the questions I want to answer. I'm Mark Matthews. Welcome to the joy of fear. You know how you're so hardwired to have an emotional oh, response yeah, to music? Oh, like, yeah, and it's always rah, 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 I'll like rah, go rah, to the extent yeah. of re-editing the footage or put my own music, like that's just like fun, it's happy fun. music over the footage. scary like with that music playing like oh. you just can't be scared I, I feel like everyone in general would fear being held underwater for right. a long period of time there's no That's more primal probably, fear than yeah, that yeah it's <laughs> sort of like you don't need anything top more one than you or need two. oxygen yeah. to survive so. yeah it'll pop up like yeah. more often than not when you do those initial breath holds and they put like a little oxygen monitor, monitor on you yep. and you look at it and you go like your urge to breathe is like really high. You're like, wow, I'm like, I'm running out of breath. But to see you still have like 70% oxygen. Yeah, so you're not actually running yeah, out of oxygen. Yeah, the, the perception of like the carbon dioxide coming in and going, hey, you need to breathe. Yeah. And all your senses saying, breathe, breathe, breathe. It sort of creates this like, like awareness, like, oh, okay, well, I can ride this out. Yeah. Like I use the same techniques when I go to surf heat, in between heats and stuff. Because the same preparation. Like yeah, the breathing. same preparation, and in between heats, I'm actually just focusing on my breath yep. to lower my whole presence and like. And when you focus on your breath, you're trying to get your breath rhythmical. Or yeah, rhythmical like... and like a touch deeper and and almost like a more. I feel like a shallow breath is less confident sometimes. Yep. Yep. Like I feel like I attack things a bit frantically, yep. and so I'm just trying to lower it down a bit to, to give me deeper note like a calmer approach on, yeah. on the wave so I can visualize what I want to do size for size and pound for pound Cape Fear is hands down one of the heaviest waves in the world and after running the Rebel Cape Fear event just over a month ago in what's been described as the heaviest waves ever surfed in a competition and I get a message from Sally saying that she actually wants to surf the wave for the first time I couldn't believe it Couple of decent sized ones, like I probably would have liked it to be a little bit smaller for a first go, but we'll still be able to find some good ones. So she'll be sweet, she serves good enough and she charges, so but, uh, hopefully she gets a good fun one.